Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse Juan here. Today is Sunday, February 23rd, 2020. What? What are you doing, tough guy? Uh huh? Going in? Going in? No? Alright, well, anyway, as you can see, very sunny, very nice today which we will take that. It's uh, high 30s right now. Okay, you're hearing stuff sliding off. Uh, with the sun out, it's heating up the rest of the top of the, uh, the greenhouse there. So that snow, the last, last of it on the top is coming off. And there's the puppies and then the chickies so anyway guys um, things are getting interesting uh, a lot of world events happening obviously the topic is of course the, the CV that is affecting everything and uh, so I'm gonna just remind everybody I will be live streaming tonight at 8 p.m. and we're gonna be really going over a lot of different things um, with that so I'm going to give me a moment here and I'm going to uh, take care of my birdies. Hello boys and girls. How is everyone? Now this is not for puppies. Okay, hold on. Hold on. But he's coming out too. He wants to see what's going on. You guys want some of this one too? <laughs> now this is older pumpernickel, folks, so I want to make sure my chickens are eating healthy bread. That's it. No, there's no more. That's the end of it. That's all. Yes. So anyway, folks, um, I don't know, I just want to share you that and share that with you with the birdies. A little windy today, but uh, we're going to go around the back here real quick. Uh, I pulled out three eggs earlier today. But anyway, a lot of interesting things going on, obviously. Uh, we're going to be going over those tonight in the live stream. We're going to give updates on everything and talk about everything. It is definitely uh, very interesting. Okay, buddy, you got to get off there. Come on. No, no, no. Well, hop off. Hop off. All right, so I'm going to show you guys. So we got the one egg down here. That's our fake egg. I got uh, three eggs earlier, but I know the one box on this end over here. Oh yeah. All right. So the one on the end, it's got one fake and three real eggs, and that's a fake egg there as well. So. So right now it is actually only noon, and I've already pulled out uh, seven eggs today already now. So there's 
there's those eggs there so anyway so you see the locks anybody that doesn't know that hasn't followed the channel for a while I'm not worried about people stealing anything from me nobody steals anything out here uh, but I worry about raccoons and I don't want them to get in at the chickens so I keep everything locked up and that's why uh, everything is locked up like that But anyhow, so we are looking at uh, what is going on, and when you look at this, uh, in Italy, now they've locked down some stuff, uh, things are going crazy in South Korea, uh, they've like quadrupled the number of people sick, uh, I think it's up over 600 now in, in South Korea, you got the situation in Iran, uh, it's scary guys, it's... Uh, it is a scary situation. I'm going to set these down for a moment, and I will come back and get them. See, I'm just going to set them there for a moment. Uh, you know, it's a scary situation what's happening. And so, like I said, we're going to go over all that. We're going to really get into depth with everything in the live stream tonight. But uh, very, very uh, concerning, obviously. So we're just going to keep paying attention to stuff. I hope you guys are, have been listening to what I have been saying. Uh, I hope you're getting ready. I really do. I've gotten a lot of feedback from a lot of other uh, fellow preppers and they have really been amping up their game. I have myself. Um, I'm not going to lie. I've put some money out here in the last couple of weeks uh, getting more supplies in place. Uh, one of the things I want people to think about too really quickly uh, is batteries. Batteries are going to be a big thing. So Rechargeable batteries are great, and uh, but regular batteries as well. They and, they and batteries have a shelf life, so you got to make sure. Yes, you have to make sure that uh, what? Making sure you're stocking up on all those things. But batteries are going to be big, especially if there's power outages or anything like that down the road. So stay on top of that, guys. Okay. Uh, I did want to remind everybody today is the last day of my sale on my website for the freeze-dried foods and that will be ending at midnight west coast time tonight so basically three in the morning east coast time tomorrow <laughs> but it's going to be ending today okay this is the last day of the sale and so if you would like to take advantage of that we're say having 20 percent off of all the freeze-dried foods that is going to be um, you go to my website preppernurse1.com you will click on it says store you click on it, it drops down you'll see legacy click on legacy it'll take you right to that part and uh, I will say this don't order eggs <laughs> um, eggs are very 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 far behind everything else is going to start coming in again this week uh, so they're going to have a whole bunch of new stuff uh, coming into the uh, thing so I'm going to be able to get a bunch of my orders in and hopefully a bunch of orders that I already put in that they will get on top of that and, uh, and start working on those so Anyhow, uh, that's that's what's going on with that, but uh, yeah, they're they're just it's uh, you know all these places are slammed. Uh, I posted on my Facebook page on my Prepper Nurse One Facebook page pic, uh, a couple pictures from a local Walmart. The bleach was out. All the freeze dried foods were gone uh, out of the camping department. Never seen that. Never seen that before. So uh, people are waking up. They're starting to realize that something bad's coming. Something something wicked this way comes, right? So uh, people are starting to wake up. Your window of opportunity to get out there and get supplies, get things in place. It is closing very, very fast. So, uh, you know, definitely try to take advantage of getting things as you can. Now, I do recommend freeze-dried foods as part of your preps. doesn't necessarily have to be the legacy foods that I sell. I Honestly, guys, and I've said this from the beginning, if you go and you buy my freeze-dried foods, it helps support the channel. So I obviously want you to help support the channel if you would. But also, the more important thing is you're helping yourself by having freeze-dried foods as part of your storage. But again, I've said it before, I don't care if you use Mountain House, Augustan Farms, whatever company you like to go with, um, go with them. I don't care. As long as you're prepping, as long as you're helping yourself, that's the important thing to me, okay? And I want people to remember that. That's my number one thing. I want you to be able to help yourself. Yes, what? What? 
Uh, now it slid off the backside. So that top is melting down pretty good. Really nice day. Really nice day here today. Obviously I'm in a t-shirt and stuff like that. But anyway, whatever supplies you can get, canned goods, uh, long-term food stores, rice, beans, those type of things, do it guys. Load up. Um, one of the things I would recommend for people, I picked up some of this myself the other day, is yeast for making bread. I picked up some jars of the yeast, and uh, it's like good for until 22, I think. And as long as it's not open, once you open it and you put it in your fridge, then you're looking at like six months, I think is what they said. But being able to make bread is going to be a big thing. So that's kind of, I'm always trying to think ahead of other things that I don't necessarily think of. Because right now I can just go to the store and buy bread. But what if I couldn't? I still like bread. Uh, so I definitely want to be on top of that. So anyway, that's what's, that's what's where I'm thought, my thoughts are. Um, just trying to continue to get ready. But I've been doing the same thing. I would never recommend you do something. That, ah! Oh, buddy. <laughs> he clawed my leg. Um, sorry, guys. What did you do that for? What'd you do that for? Because I wasn't petting you. That's why. So, anyhow, I'm going to walk so he doesn't attack me again. So, anyhow, um, like I said, get ready. Get ready the best way you know how. I think something bad's coming. I really, truly believe it. As you see things continuing around the world, it definitely is an eye-opener. So, pay attention to these things. It's really important. Uh, so... Anyway, oh, I got to show you here. So you see some cat litter and stuff in here, right? I wonder why. Why do we do that? Mom got stuck here the other day. So I had to get her out, and I had to dig up and, and use cat litter. So I don't think she has four-wheel drive on her vehicle, like, at all. So it was very bad. <laughs> she was stuck pretty good. So, well, we got her out. Anyhow, um, join me tonight, guys, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, live stream. We're going to be going over everything. The... Official death toll numbers continue to rise, but when you're watching now, uh, like what's, what's happening in South Korea, Iran, the Italian Alps, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's starting to jump up, and uh, things are scary. They are. They are very, very frightening. So, but anyway, we will go over everything tonight, so please join me then. Um, <laughs> it's like a dog. He follows me. He follows me. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Beautiful, beautiful day. Let me just show you the sky real quick. Sorry for the camera jumping all over the place, but really pretty today. Just very clear, which is nice to see. Very rare that you see it like that. But very pleasant. Um, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That is important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So that's important as well. Uh, just stay focused. Stay happy. Uh, you know, whatever your goals are, guys, just work towards them. Uh, remember, like I said, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every day. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important, and we tell them that every day. And also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person stopping you from reaching those goals is you. So work towards it and uh, get those things done. I think this year, uh, with the panels, I wanted to mention this really quickly, I'm gonna angle them back just a little bit more. Uh, I think that uh, the angle's just not quite right, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to adjust that this year. So we'll get that done. But, uh, so that's what's happening. Uh, that's where we're at. Good day, good solar day, pulling in nice power, and uh, the snow is melting, believe it or not. I know it's all over here and you see it all over. But uh, it is melting. You've heard it coming off the top of the uh, greenhouse, which is great. And uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, I hope everybody's doing great, and I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.